What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Charlie Life 69, the boss one, and I'm here with my boy Joey Jr. 93, and I'll let the AKAs commence. All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Joey Jr. 93, the other half of the illegal bosses, AKA That White Cracker 93, AKA Zombie Boss 93. But anyway, what do we have here today, Joey? What the hell do we have here today? Well, all hell is breaking loose in the SmackDown Elimination Chamber, where the winner will become the number one contender and will headline WrestleMania for the World Heavyweight Championship, whoever the world champion may be. Are you excited? I'm very excited, because now it's today. Yep. Six hours, right? And counting? Yep, it's uh, 2 o'clock right now. So we're six hours away from the chamber, five and a half hours from the pre-show, which we might as well watch. All Let's right. see what happens. Just to start out these predictions, who are the two superstars that you think have the best chance of winning and why? All right. First has to be Randy Orton. He, he has been building so much momentum that he has to be one of the final two in this match. And the other one who has really caught my attention. I, damn, dang it, I have, two, I have three total. And the funny part is they're all in the ring right now. They all caught my attention. When Jack Swagger returned, he's undefeated right now when he returned. Same goes for Mark Henry. But Jack Swagger has really impressed me so far with the Ric Flair chops to the legs. And then you got Chris Jericho making his Royal Rumble return. Lasted in the final six. Lasted the whole 30 men. So, so basically it's all about momentum for tonight. That's all it is. Whoever wants it more. And who do you want to win? Who do you want to win? Overall, Randy Orton. All right. That's my pick. All right, it's time for my pick. Who I want to win is two men, Chris Jericho and Jack Swagger. Chris Jericho, because he's my favorite superstar, as Joey knows. Yep. And, yeah, and the reason why I think these two are going to win, I honestly, to be totally honest, the reason why I picked these two is because I like them, but honestly, the person that I think is going to win is either going to be Jack Swagger or Randy Orton. Because the reason why another a reason why I think Jack Swagger might win is because he needs the momentum. You know, he just he got the momentum from just coming back, and it make no sense if he lost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if, all for nothing. Yeah, just to come back, just lose in the chamber. The same thing with Chris Jericho though, because he's yeah, a so, all the time. So we'll find out who wants it more. Yeah. This, Guaranteed, these three might be the last ones. I don't think, and even Mark Henry, though, because this chamber is mostly about comebacks. Yeah, it is true. Like, half of them are people coming back. Not even half of them. Four of them. The only two people that haven't come back is uh, Daniel Bryan and Kane. And the only reason why Daniel Bryan and Kane are in the chamber is because they have beef. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. So, I mean, you tell me. I know Daniel Bryan and Kane that don't have a chance because they're going to eliminate each other, guaranteed. Watch. That's probably what's going to happen. Daniel Bryan's either going to make Kane tap out or Kane's going to hit him with a choke slam, which probably is going to happen. And Randy Orton's going to come out of nowhere and, and hit Kane and Mark Henry with a, a RKO, guaranteed. All I hope is that finishers will be delivered tonight, free of charge. What if you see? What if you see Daniel Bryan jumping onto uh, Chris Jericho and him, Chris Jericho hitting him with the code breaker? Oh, it's over. He's out. He's out. So we'll, we will have an elimination unless Kane magically saves him. I doubt it, but it's magically. What if after he hits the code breaker, Kane comes out of nowhere and hits him with a choke slam? So, Daniel Bryan automatically eliminated. I, I hate to say it. Did you see that? I know you have this rumble. I mean, this elimination chamber. I don't. I don't know which one it was, but do you remember when Kofi jumped from the from the? From the ropes to the cage, and then hit the DDT on someone. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. What, what, what I felt was dirty, not in that one though, but another one. And when Kofi Kingston, you know, his entrance, I know you remember this well as much as I do. And then all of a sudden, you hear Edge's theme. You think you know me? Comes out of nowhere, beats the hell out of Kofi. Like Kofi is is not able to compete in the Elimination Chamber. And then Edge takes his spot, and then Edge wins wins the chamber that was yeah that was fucked up actually. I felt bad for Kofi and did him dirty 
What if, what if out of nowhere, I know this is probably never gonna happen, but you hear metals. Din, 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 and then, and then you see Karango come out. In the chamber? Yeah, the, in the chamber tonight. You see him come out. And he's like, you. Then he's my pick. He's my pick then. That's Bro? It. Damn. Uh, Kurt Angle will, will deliver free angle slams, I guarantee it, to everyone in the chamber. And he angle slams Mark Henry through the chamber. And, and takes him out automatically. Yeah, he gets hospitalized. That's it, and the EMTs come out. Like, Mark Henry is eliminated for good. The thing I don't like about these chamber pods is that back then it was glass. Now it's plastic. Wait. Yeah, I don't like that either. Yo, back then, Goldberg's, I think he speared Triple H through a chamber and it broke glass everywhere. Yeah, the thing I don't like now is that nothing really happens in the chamber matches. Like, they're not really epic like last time. Yeah, like when, when another moment I remember was Rob Van Dam did a, a five-star frog splash and landed on Triple H's neck. Yep. And he had to get hospital. That, that was a real injury. I know WWE scripted sometimes, but that was real. Yeah, because cause they can't always predict how they're going to land. Yeah. Because I, I was watching uh, the documentary of Stone Cold, and I, um, I found out it wasn't The Undertaker. I didn't know this because I didn't remember. It was Owen Hart. You remember Owen Hart? Yeah. Got his, he did the, uh, the, the tombstone on Stone Cold and they showed infinite replays of how Stone Cold's head landed on the mat the wrong way and his neck was fucked up that was crazy Stone Cold was like I felt paralyzed from my head down that shit was brutal and they showed it infinite times for, for the people that are haters and I also remember I told you how, how Bret Hart's career was ended yeah and Goldberg hit him with a switch in music Man, you should have seen that kick. That was in WCW when he went over. Damn, I might have to see that. Yo, Goldberg is not fuck around, Hector. He doesn't. I I, I don't know, but, but I want to bring him back now. Yep, I want to see that spear one more time. And that and that. What's it called? His finisher, the the hammer. What's it called? Uh, damn. Jack Hammer. So I, I think it's something like that. Yep. But his spear is the most devastating Jack part. Jack knife hammer, something like that. His, his uh, his spear is the hard. Wiki Kane. Hey, you don't see Kane jump like that. No, I usually see it the other way. Yeah, Kane usually jumps when he does that clothesline. Yep. Yeah, like, I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But anyway, or you have fear of Mark Henry coming back? Uh. To me, it was unexpected. I, I didn't really expect that. Yeah, me but, but, you know, I, I do want a bigger roster. And SmackDown needs more superstars. So, you know, it's actually a good thing that he came back. And Jack Swagger. SmackDown's been dying lately, to be honest. Yeah, because everything's on Raw now because The Rock. The Rock is taking over. Yeah, because all the good superstars are on Raw, too. Yep. Like, Randy Orton's back too, that's another one. Yeah, but he's on SmackDown though. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's why you said SmackDown needed more superstars. Yeah. But, but Smack Raw has everybody. Because it's three hours. <laughs> it's illegal. I remember when everybody used to give pets to SmackDown. <laughs> you know, Raw, Raw was only good. Raw was always good, but there was a time where, where, Smack, where everybody gave pets to SmackDown. Cause Ray, that was the year when Rey Mysterio won the title, the Royal Rumble, and Kurt Angle yeah. and Randy Orton and Bobby Lashley, Undertaker, Batista, all of them were there. Yep. I was going. I wish Batista wouldn't wouldn't ha, wouldn't have get injured during that period of time. He would have faced definitely would have faced Kurt Angle. If you remember that, because it was Mark Henry that injured him. Yeah. It, it was against M N. Is it was it M N M or something like that? Uh, Mark yeah, yeah. Free, Nitro and Molina. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. And then and then Mark Henry beat the shit out of Batista with a steel cage door. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh yeah, God rest his soul. Chris Benoit was there too. Yep. And Booker T. Remember when they had that uh, best out of seven uh, match to win the United States? 
Yeah, boy, B Booker T and John Cena. No, 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 uh, no, Chris Ben Wall. Oh, he had one too. Cause the one I saw was with John Cena. They had a best out of seven with, with uh, Chris Ben Wall, and then magically Booker T got injured, and it was ended up being Chris Ben Wall versus Randy Orton. Oh, I probably didn't see that because the one I saw was with John Cena. But yeah, it, it was one with Chris Ben Wall too. Um, I, I like that one a lot. Randy Orton ended up winning with the RKO. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was a lot of good rivalries back in that year. I think that was one of my favorite years. Next to the Attitude Era. Attitude Era was always good. Yep. But anyway, back to the match. You know, who do you, what do you think is going to happen to the rest of the people if they don't win? You think they're just going to fade into the background? Um... Probably Kane and Daniel Bryan are going to go back to hating each other in the t as a tag team. Or, what usually happens to tag teams that don't like each other is that they're going to they're gonna have a one-on-one. -on -one and then, you know, it's like what happened to Cody Rhodes and Hardcore Holly. It was at a pay-per-view one time. And then Cody Rhodes beat the hell out of Hardcore Holly. And he was unable to compete and defend the title with Cody Rhodes. And then Ted DiBiase came out and helped out Cody Rhodes, and then they became the new tag team champions. So that might happen, or they—I th doubt it, though. I doubt it. This is a really big doubt. They'll work together in the chamber till the end, but I doubt it, though. I, I highly doubt it. It'll be interesting, though. You know, it's a two on four, basically. But you know, they can at least try. And I'm Kane, Kane thing, can put up a fight though. Hold on, another thing that I just remember to mention is that uh, that the six man tag between Ryback, Cena, Sheamus, and Shield, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost like 99.9% .9 sure it's gonna be a normal six man tag. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm very, very disappointed that that's how it is. Cause you gotta remember, Cena cannot take the pin. If any, yeah. he cannot take the pin. Guaranteed, he can't take the pin. Yeah, he can't. Oh, look at the Enziguri. Yeah, this match is going crazy right now. All hell is breaking loose. Yeah, and look at Mark Henry stealing his finish shoot. Huh. Oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, World Strong the Slam. Oh, Swagger Bomb. Swagger, oh man, two finishers. Free of charge. Oh, double pin. And double kick out. Man. This game likes the double the double pins, I see. I noticed that a lot in WWE 13. When you let the computers go at it, always double, always double pin. <laughs> but anyways, Joey, you know, we have a couple matches, you know, in our inventory. That we wanted to show from our, you know, sort of storyline. Why don't you explain that a little bit now that we have some time? All right. Well, damn, that was a bunch of matches. All right. Well, the chamber results we will do because it's like a 30-minute match. It's a 30-minute I Quit match between John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WWE Championship. Then after that, we just have a whole bunch of title matches. Like, well, well first no more contender matches. And then we have title matches. Then we still have the championship chamber. So there's a whole bunch of shit that will be delivered. Yeah, I but think we, got we have enough that will take us till May, to be honest. <laughs> That's how far we've been planning along. Yeah, so we got we to gotta go along with the story. But uh, it's been interesting so far. I'm not yeah. going to mention... Yeah, should we mention the man... Or should we wait? I think we should wait. We, we should wait until, until everyone finds out. Alright, alright. Yo, I'm not even going to talk about it. Alright. But uh, anyways, back to what we were talking about, what's going to happen after. is uh, What do you think is going to happen to Jack Swagger if he doesn't win? Or Chris Jericho, for that matter. Um, probably Chris Jericho is going to... Chris Jericho and Jack Swagger are probably going to rage. And just probably they break hell, and then you you know usually what happens when people don't win the chamber, you know they still want to get a shot, 
and then usually it does not happen and they just cause a lot of destruction so all I'm saying is when you're in that chamber match good fucking luck because you're gonna need it everyone's gonna need it especially since they could be double teams triple teams quadruple teams anything could happen you don't know <laughs> all about momentum that, that's all it is I remember the chamber you hated the most when uh, Cena got eliminated first uh, I hate that one and look at Daniel Bryan making swagger bleed <laughs> and we're halfway through this video no eliminations yet yep damn look at this look at Daniel Bryan damn Going him. Oh, swagger. Yo, this is Brock Lesnar's and Kurt Angle's favorite position. I know. I don't know why people are copying that. Oh, my God. Back and forth. Oh, man. Who's going to win, Joe? Who do you think? At least, I don't know. Ho hopefully, it ends now because it's so boring. Fucking back and forth, that's ridiculous. Oh my goodness, still not over. <laughs> <sighs> I, I can't even watch. I'm gonna watch the other the other participants. <laughs> and that's definitely a three count. What the hell? I don't know. Finally, it's broken up. I thought Swagger was eliminated at this point. <laughs> Man, look at Kane running away. Where, where are you going, Kane? <laughs> oh, Lucas Cross. Randy Orton. He wants to become World Heavyweight Champion again. 17 minutes and still no elimination. That's crazy. Yeah, look at Mark Henry. What? What you doing, bro? What you doing out there? Man, look at this nigga. Nigga thinks he's so nice. This Mark Henry walking into ropes. This fat nigga. Oh my god. He goes hard though. He goes really hard. I can't lie. Mark Henry is one of the most devastating superstars I've seen in this era. Though. He's been around for a long time. I won't lie. He's been around for such a long time. His attitude era, actually. Yeah. What was it? Sexual chocolate? Oh my goodness. Well, yeah. When when he was when he was going out with uh, what's her name? May. You remember that? May Young? Yeah, May Young. He was going out with her. Oh, no. I can't help free of charge. Oh, look at Mark Henry. Look at Mark Henry. Yo, Mark Henry. No way. So nice. Look at that elimination. No way. He thinks he's so nice. Trying to build momentum. He just went for the pinfall. How dare you, bro? Yo, yo Orton. Come on, bro. Do, do not allow this. This is not legal for you. I cannot believe what I just saw. Yeah, that better be a replay. Oh, no. Look at Kane. Look at Kane. The fly again. He missed. Oh, my God. I don't know how he's flying, though. Man. Can't believe what I just saw, though. Mark Henry stealing the victory. Man. He goes hard. Yeah. Team Hell No still in the match, though. <laughs> oh, is that Kane? You know, if you take out the leg, you take out power. Orton's in trouble. Damn. But do you think Mark Henry's a main event superstar? What do you think? Um, uh, like I think I think he is for simple fact that you know he is the world's strongest man. You know he you know he uh he won the 1995 world's strongest man contest or whatever it was at the time, and. I just found this out recently. I, I don't know. I, I didn't notice, but he could deadlift 900 pounds without the without that that belt that they wear to protect their back. And I'm like, damn, are you kidding me? 900 pounds, like 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 free of charge. Not he could he could deadlift 900 pounds. That's crazy. So so he has to be the father of Biggie Langston. He has to be. Cause Biggie Yo. Langston could bench press like 600. Yeah, we we should make that a tag team. Yeah. Father and son. There's a lot of father and sons in here. There is. Jack Swagger, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, Ryback. <laughs> and up of Mark Henry and Biggie Langston. Yeah, look at the. Why? Daniel seems to think he has this match won 
<laughs> Again? Dang, free of charge. And Swagger's not allowing it. Swagger controlling the race. Smash is brutal. Nice dodge there. Yeah. I just hope the chamber is epic. I, I, I'm guaranteeing. I'm guaranteeing it's the main event. I'm guaranteeing that. It's either that or the Rocket Punk. <laughs> I, I'm guaranteeing it that it's going to be the first match. This one? Yeah, this Elimination Chamber. Think so? Because they always put Elimination Chamber first. Yeah, but that was when there was two of them, though. I know, but look at the main event. And also, know, there's Ryback, Cena, and there's other, and, and uh, there's only four matches. Yeah, yeah, but the, but there's new ones. Remember the the Divas Championship match and the United States Championship match. And True. now Swag Swagger bomb. Oh, Mark Henry, how? Oh my, yo, Jack Swagger is building momentum. This might be an elimination. Magically not. But I don't know. It, it could be. I don't know. It could be the first match. If it is, I hope it's at least. 45 minutes, because I like when the chamber's long. I, I hate when it's short. What if it's an hour? It's an hour of carnage. Oh man, I missed it. How the fuck did Daniel Bryan get eliminated? I don't even know. I was too busy. I was entertained by that swagger bomb. I didn't look. Yeah, there, oh, whatever. Elimination occurred. Yeah, Jack Swagger <laughs> taking it to Mark Henry. You never know. This might happen. This might happen at the chamber. You never know. You know what other, another chamber moment I remember when it was Rey Mysterio and Edge and Rey Mysterio hit the reverse 619 Remember that? Yeah, and then Rey Mysterio came flying at Edge and Edge threw him to the plastic chamber and then speared him Yeah, man, it was over Yeah, look, look at Kane. What, what is this? Matt his, his version of Sako? <laughs> Damn, Kane. Damn, Kane, get off of that. Oh, oh, look at this. Whoa, another swagger bomb. What? Free of charge. Good night, Mark Henry. Whoa, he's done that eliminated. Oh, look, Kane. Nope. Wait, what the hell? How did Orton get eliminated? He tapped out. Wait, he tapped out. To the... To the, to the the mandible claw magically, and Mr. Sako, I don't know how. The fake Sako. <laughs> yeah, look at Kane. Look at Kane. Tombstone, that is it. Mark Henry has to be eliminated. He has to be. He's bleeding and he had two swagger bombs. And what the fuck did Jack Swagger just do there, actually? I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Damn, Kane. Kane. Kane's pissed. He's like, I want him out. Hey, yo, Kane's going hard. Not even injured yet. Yeah, <laughs> this is unprecedented. Wow, by Mark Henry. Oh man, the illegal shoulder block. I hate that shit. That shit cheats. He fails to connect from behind. Wow, oh. Jack Swagger. Who's your pick right now? Out of these? I'm going with Swagger. I, I feel it's Swagger. He's <laughs> building the most momentum. Yep. I, I don't know how he lifted Mark Henry twice. Within a matter of five minutes, not even. He gave him two swagger bombs. It's still not enough, though. Damn, look at this. Swagger going in. Yeah, they're double teaming him. It's not fair. Come on, now. Come on. Yo, that, that's not fair. Come on. That should do it right there. Actually, oh, Mark Henry. Oh, like, get out of here. That was an elimination. Swagger take two of the two monsters in this match. He's not a, he's not afraid of everyone. That's all I like about Swagger. He's not afraid. Yep. What if Swa what if Kurt Angle, you know, and Swagger make a tag team in real life? Uh, so now I'll, I'll, I'm picking that team to go for the titles and becoming a new tag team champions. I wouldn't mind though either. You know what I think is gonna happen again? I think Swagger's gonna win the the Money in the Bank again. You think so? It might be. When is Money in the Bank? In the in October? September? Um. Uh, it's usually around um if I remember for now it's a pay per view. It's usually around summertime. Oh yeah. What is, what's after WrestleMania? 
Uh, last year was Extreme Rules. <laughs> I can't wait for that PPV. I love that PPV. Every match, Extreme Rules. Man, they're going hard these last three. The last three minutes, too. Uh oh, look at this. This might be elimination. Nope. Squeezing down on the head. What's Mark Henry doing? He's just walking around. <laughs> to the rope. Yeah, come on, Mark Henry. Get him out of there. Oh, oh right here, right here. Swagger. Spear. Swagger. You know, he's taking it to these guys like they're nothing. But the double team is... Is, is, is painful for him. Wow. Oh. Imagine, imagine this fucking team right here, Kane and Mark Henry. Oh my, devastating. Oh, that must hurt. Oh, come on, guys. Oh my, that's not fair. If you're gonna double team, just take him out already. And have a one on one. Oh, oh my, my god. god, here it is. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he kicked out? Oh my god. Okay, guaranteed not kicking out. Not kicking out, guaranteed. This is the world's strongest slam. That is it. Swagger's momentum is gone. I hate to say it. That is it. Swagger has been eliminated. And Kane, oh, Kane taking advantage. Kane is taking advantage. Oh my god. <laughs> Forget it. <Dope. laughs> he was saving this for the end. I don't blame him. So we're gonna tombstone. That's it. Over. <sighs> That's it. He's he's done. Mark Henry has been eliminated. The winner. This Here's is your boy, winner. and this is your winner, Kane. Kane, the no more contender now. Yep. Well, hopefully, simulation. But anyway, this is your boy, Try Hard for Life 69. And Joey Jr. 93, aka you know the rest. We hope you guys liked the video and show. Oh.